Twelve chimes. It's midnight. At midnight, anything can happen. There were the 12 chimes. That means it's midnight. We're recording live from Stuckey's Club Modern on Bush Street at Taylor in San Francisco. <laughs> the idea of this podcast series came from a love of old time radio, particularly the show Lights Out, written and produced by Willis Cooper and Arch Obler in the 1930s and 40s. The shows actually aired at midnight, which was fairly unusual for radio programming. Mostly they just played music after midnight. But they had a um, particular request to start in midnight so that they could have a little more leeway with the stories. These allowed stories to be written that were not only creative, but truly weird and disturbing. We hope you enjoy this new series of original plays. For you listeners of the podcast, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and leave your comments. And for all of you here tonight at Stuckey's, please add your name to our mailing list. This encouragement will motivate me and the gang to keep writing and recording these stories. Thanks, and enjoy the play. Join us now for a story of a bitter musical talent who had a habit of pushing people around, or did, until he met a particular woman in the play, Chance Encounter. Our play begins at the end of the night in a club rather like this one. The band is packing up after a long night. Good night, eh, buddy? <laughs> oh, sure. It was okay. For an off night of high school amateurs, miscues, easy control, left me high and dry like you always do. Why do I keep torturing myself? Why didn't I just stay home in my slippers? Oh, forget it. Come on, buddy. I thought the band was sharp tonight. Oh, really? All right, Miss Songbird. I defer to your artistic opinion. You clearly are the expert here. A real humble guy, aren't you? Can't relate, can you? Well, what do you think this is, a talent show? I expect professionalism, and all I get is a bunch of petulant children. You're singing in a C-plus at best, and you have the audacity, the audacity to tell me off. Oh, hey now, you always take it out on us at the end of the night, but leave her out of it. Hey, 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 you insisted we try her out tonight, so I'll leave it to you to fire her, smart guy. Jeez, buddy, you're always the best around here, but why do you always gotta be like this? Like what? Like a fed-up band leader? An artist who can't find a decent lineup to save his goddamn life? Consider this our last night. Oh, come on, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Lights out, Daddy-O. Got everything you need? Hey, Tom, thanks for coming out so late. Don't know what happened to the regular photographer. Hey, buddy, move it along. Oh, hey, your name actually is Buddy. Jazz musician, right? Right. Uh, I've seen you around at the club, haven't I? Oh, sure. Stookies, up the street. Oh, yeah. Taylor right. and Bush, open oh. seven nights a week. Oh, yeah, right. Gonna be there Saturday night? Nah. No, huh? Uh, probably not. Long story, so, uh, what's the scene here, man? Dead girl. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, well, uh, looks bad. Oh, uh, it's bad. Oh, Jesus! Oh, jeez. Sorry about that, buddy. The wind blew the blanket clean off the body. Curtis, where the hell is that ambulance? Whoa, that kid really got the works. It's terrible. To be honest, buddy, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm cutting out, man. This is, this is too much. Hey, hey, watch your stuff, buddy. There's a killer out there. <laughs> killer, yeah. Well, you know, this killer obviously likes little girls, not uh, hostile musicians. So I'm not worried. Sure, buddy. See you around town. Oh, 
man, that was a weird scene. I... Ow! Jesus Christ, what, what did I just kick here? It's, look at this stupid brick. It's sticking out of the wall here. It's, what the hell? What is this behind the brick? It's, it's, it's some kind of a necklace? Looks like an amulet to me. Oh, whoa! Huh, <laughs> made you jump. Where'd you come from? Get lost! Give us a look, man. <laughs> hey, finders keep us, baby. I'm not gonna tell the cops if that's what you're worried about. Cops? A piece of jewelry hidden only a few steps away from a dead body. Doesn't take an intellectual to figure out it's probably evidence. Yeah, I guess it could be. Nothing's gonna help that poor kid now. What kid? You mean that dead body back there? Yeah, that dead body back there. <laughs> Boy, you're a cold one. Where are you headed? Home. It's been a long night, kitten. Hey, uh, don't you got some place to be? Finding that necklace, doesn't the possibility of turning it into some cash perk you up at all? <laughs> you know, it's probably going to be more trouble than it's worth. I'll take it off your hands. Oh, oh, no chance, sister. Tough guy, huh? I've been around. What do you do when you're not finding mysterious amulets on the street, Mr. Uh... Buddy. No mister. Just buddy. I'm a musician. Retired musician. Say, why did you say, uh, mysterious? Not only is it possible evidence in a murder, but it's kind of crazy looking from what I can see. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Looks like a necklace to me. Look closer. Didn't I see something in the stone? <sighs> what are you talking? Hey, look at that. There it is. Can't tell what it is, though. Hope it doesn't lower the value. I wouldn't think so. I'd say it makes it more unique, more special. Yeah, whatever you say, chick. Oh, how long are you going to keep bugging me anyway? Uh, where do you live? Around. Oh, so I'm uh, walking you home then? I thought we were just walking. Okay, okay. I'll bite. What do you do when you're not bugging tired jazz musicians on their way home, Miss, uh... Samantha. No, Miss. Just Samantha. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, do you make all your friends this way? Nah. This is the way I usually end friendships. Crazy. Real fun-loving gal, eh, Sam? You're sounding more and more like, uh, my kind of chick. Don't you love this time of morning, when you feel all alone in the middle of the city? Yeah, there's, there's plenty of people around. I don't see anybody. Yeah, I guess it is kind of quiet, even for San Francisco. Ow! What's up, man? This, this necklace, the damn thing's hot. I told you I wouldn't say anything to the cops. No, 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 I don't mean cool hot, I mean hot hot. This damn thing is hot to the touch. What the hell? The power of the amulet is growing. Power? What the hell are you talking about? Take a closer look at it. What, what is that? In, in the gym, I... Shh, shh, I could have sworn it just moved. Really? Are you sure? Look closer. Is, is that some sort of a... bug? Something like that. But something far greater. What do you mean? It's like a familiar. You know, like a witch's cat. That kind of thing. Like a what? A, a familiar? What? Are you nuts? You must get all this stuff from a comic book, right? I'll be honest with you, buddy. The amulet belongs to me. And it's time to hand it over. Oh, no way. Why was it hidden if it's yours? She stole it. Who? She was going to destroy it. But she's just fodder for the meat wagon now. What? That, that kid? That dead kid? The one hacked to bits by that psycho? 
I had to get it back from her. What kind of fiction are you handing me, Sam? You had someone kill her just for this arty piece of junk? Buddy, she was out of sight for one second, just one second! Time to stash the thing. We do not seem to be working within the same reality. You're one crazy chick, you know that? Give me the amulet, buddy. <laughs> not much of a kidder, Sam. You're kind of a drag. A real drag. Oh, Jesus Christ, it, it, it moved! That, that thing in the amulet! You should have given it back when you had the chance, buddy. Oh, oh my, oh my God! What's it doing? What, what is that thing? It's, it's, it's crawling right out of the necklace. The stone, it's, it's like a, some kind of crazy jello. It's, it's not possible. It's, it's not possible. It isn't limited by the rules of our world. And it decided now was the time to act. Ah! I was hoping to catch your act, buddy. Sorry our friendship had to end so soon. Thanks for finding my amulet. That's our last show of season one. We've been recording live at Stuckey's Club Modern on Bush at Taylor in San Francisco. We hope you'll stop by for a cocktail soon. And we hope you'll come back for more 12 Chimes It's Midnight in season two. See you again at midnight.